We're coming to you live from Tokyo, Japan at the world famous Krokyo Dome. And a world famous doesn't mean as much as it used to since most of the world is a charred wasteland, but you get the meaning. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Los Scandalous Volts take on the Tokyo Terminators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was hanging on the channel now. You know what happened? Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they save the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and ten. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about two. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. First and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. They pick up of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Oh, that's a big. 
big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Hey, have you seen my beer? And it's first and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Risky throw and the defense made him pay. He'll have to. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but what is, what is this? Andy's wrestling? Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Second down and two. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. First and four. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My turn on the line is... Pow, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. to the moon another loser bites the dust in the mfl winning is really about how many
much you wanted, Briggs. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Third and four. Away from man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all you can eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's relief because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's at the 40. And he reels that one in for a first down. And no other said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. It's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want me? Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And it's first and ten. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect... Oh, what a hit! Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10-story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. Just blew. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, look, if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. <laughs> Third down and three. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Left an outline on the and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and two. Just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, yes. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Oh, that's huge. Looks like the defense. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim.
And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Don't worry, get me shots in the death. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. He's at the 40, the 30. He's at the 20, the 10. This defender is not going to be stopped. Once he picked up that loose ball, he was going to score or die trying. Luckily for him, he scores! Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called seven. It's good. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Boom! It's first and ten. Second down and long. this week. He meant it literally. Down in. The punter is warming up. If you don't hear it coming... I'm well, sure now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah! Circles. And it's first and ten. They've called a tap attack. The ball carrier, the man hit jars, the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. And it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And another interception. This quarterback is going to give him a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful head, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this dating profile. And see if on purpose or by accident.
Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. Well, the quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire defense. Ah, my glasses just shattered. You wear glasses? When I read. You read? You can't touch it. I will do it again. Second down and a lot. I'm surprised no one. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a... That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. First down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. It's good. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's Halftime Show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice.
Sampson took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Third down and five. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe for the headache. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's right. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Uh, if I was that QB, I'd be pissed. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. And he's off to the races. Great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And hey, Bricks, you were hit more than a few times like that in your career. 140 times to be exact, and one game to be more exact. During one play, to be more and more exact, it wasn't even a game, actually. Coach just laid into me on the sidelines. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. He hit that line the way a Republican can... Oh, mama. Just call him Cap'n Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. The defense is running low on defensive backs. They have only two left and are in danger of forfeiting. And it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. The quarterback is getting mauled out there.
third down and forever. Oh, that was a big hit. And Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. They're going for two points. Boom, get him down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? They need a good return here to set up the offense. The kicker kicks the ball so hard his leg is a registered firearm. And now you see why. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Oh, he just got popped big time. Oh, my God. And Tokyo Terminator has terminated the opposing team into a bloody mess as they are programmed to do. They win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I know wounds taste just like chicken. I was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.